My name's Daisy Gray. My name is Matt Thomas. I am constantly inspired by... Get to know your consumer before you do anything. Welcome back to P&G's Meet the Leaders. I'm Katie Mills, and once again, I'm getting the chance to find out a little more about some of our senior leaders of our Northern Europe business. Previously on Meet the Leaders... Anyone can come to P&G and P&G give the room for people from whatever background the opportunity and space to be successful. The most important thing I've learned over my career is to continue to learn. To be my authentic self. We don't give people projects, we give them real jobs from day one. So, join me once again as I welcome a new host of leaders with their own pearls of wisdom from their long and varied careers at P&G. So, let's meet my first guest today. Hi, so my name is Daniel Marcus Clara. I'm from Lisbon, from Portugal. Um, my pronouns are he and him. And um, I'm wearing a white shirt, a blazer, and my favorite watch. I've been in P&G for about 14 years, and my current role, I'm the senior sales finance director for Northern Europe SMO. Tell me about yourself. What do you like to do when you're not in the office? Well, as a recent father, I can tell you that whenever I have a break from work, whenever I'm home, I make sure that I spend the time with Charlotte, with our daughter. She's about a year old. And if I still manage to carve out some extra, extra time, I would say I would either play football with friends or just you know enjoy reading some nice book. So what brought you to P&G? Oh, that was in Spain. I was at university in Barcelona, and uh, I did know some of the PNG brands, but I had no idea about what PNG was or stand for. And uh, I did see a recruitment team on site, and uh, I went there. I started talking to them, and it was love at first sight. You've had a long and successful career at PNG so far. What keeps you here? Yeah, so I would say obviously the people. Um, you know, we come across extremely capable but extremely human uh, folks at PNG, and that has been probably the reason why I'm still around. And then I would say the fast pace at which you can develop yourself, the different roles, the different locations you can experience, and I think that level of diversity is one of the reasons why I'm still at PNG. I'm sure you'd agree. There's not really a typical day at PNG. Can you tell me about what you've been up to this week? Yeah, so last week I actually had a chance not to be in the UK, but to fly to Cincinnati to finally attend the Senior Finance Director College, which was a wonderful opportunity to get to know many other folks across the world um, and to literally immerse into a four and a half days training uh, where we got to meet senior folks of PNG but also be trained by external trainers and internal trainers are the most diverse topics like communication skills, like um, how to put a message track in front of your GM. So four and a half days of training, that's what I did last week. Learning from failure is key to future success. Could you share an example from your career where you might have failed and what happened next? Yeah. So in my first role at PNG, uh, so a while back, uh, we were launching Oral-B toothpaste. Um, to many different countries uh, in Central Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And one of those launches was not very successful. Um, and the reason why it was not successful was I thought I had it all cracked down with a beautiful MPV, 10 years plan, everything was rosy. But then when we launched, some things didn't go the right way. Fundamentally, we didn't understand as a team uh, what we were trying to sell because we didn't understand the consumer. Um, so the learning was get to know your consumer before you do anything in market, even if your NPV tells you this is the best project ever. Having a growth mindset is critical. How would you define it? And what do you do to keep yourself in this mindset? So I think the company has come a long way in realizing that failing is not necessarily a bad thing. And I always give the example of the launching Oral-B toothpaste, first case where we were not successful, to actually bring home the, the example as what we did next was the most important thing, which was act fast. So learn from your mistake, but act extremely fast. And what I mean by fast is when we launched in the second and third and fourth country, we did take the learnings from the failure and we adapted the, uh, the execution of that launch immediately. So I think it's not so much about failing, it's more about how can you take that learning and then change your plans to a better plans, hopefully, in the month, years to come. 
Where do you turn for inspiration? So I have a couple of examples uh, in the family, uh, but I always like to talk about an individual, uh, which is called Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not going to entertain the discussion whether he's the best or not in the world. I mean, I think that train has passed. But I would talk about him from an angle of work ethics and in terms of, you know, never settling for the mediocrity. And I think Ronaldo taught us a lot of things. And one of them is, you know, how can we strive for more? Even if you have a lot of headwinds coming in your face, um, you never stop and you never stop running because you know you can do it and eventually you will get there. What do you think is the most important thing you've learned over your career? Over my career, I've learned that the most important thing is to make sure that you have a motivated team and that your organization understands what you strive for and therefore that you not only do things in isolation, but you bring others with you. Um, and sometimes you let yourself go into their own ideas as well. So it's all about people and it's all about team. P&G has been around for over 185 years. What do you think is the secret to the longevity? Yeah, I mean, we can talk about the brands, we can talk about many things, but I do like to summarize it in two items. One is the people, the organization. I think we have brilliant individuals in this magnificent company, uh, but equally important is the PVPs. I think what we stand for and what we exhibit every single day when we come to work and outside of work, that actually makes us to stand out. Uh, and I do think that this is one of the reasons why we keep on having competitive advantages externally. If you weren't working for P&G, what would be your dream job? Yeah, so I had long discussions with my mom uh, a couple of decades ago about what would I do uh, after high school? And I still, those things remain. I would probably either be a math mathematician professor. That has always been my goal. But equally important, uh, I loved architecture. Um, so when I was in high school, I had I had to face this, uh, the choices of going after math or choosing architecture. And, you know, eventually I actually chose economy, which has nothing to do with, or somehow is related with both, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. What piece of advice would you give your younger self starting out in your career? Just be yourself. I think be yourself. Don't think about pretending to be somebody else that you're not. Um, the more loyal to your values and who you are uh, on, a, on a day by day, I think this is what uh, will carry on with you. And this is a legacy that you're leaving behind is about who you are. It's not about somebody that you're in front of a camera pretending to be. Um, that's what I would tell myself, just be yourself. Thank you for watching this episode. To watch the full series, go to pg.co.uk or to find out more about careers at PNG, visit pgcareers.com.